friends, welcome. It's Rachel here, and today I'm doing a scrapbook layout double photo 12 by 12, which is unlike me, but here we are. Um, and I prepped this page beforehand. I did lots of sewing on it. I wanted a little bit of texture on this page. I think it would look great with doing hand stitching, but I don't quite have the patience for that yet. So I used my sewing machine, but I really like this. I was going to do kind of like color coded um, threads, but I have done that before and I like the way it looks, but I thought maybe a white would stand out a little bit more. Um, and I like it. It's not like super bold or anything, but it gives some really great texture to the page. So I am starting off by using up these rub-ons. I thought it would be fun to do like color matching with the butterflies because of the rainbow and the picture, this picture is of a squirrel at the window with my cat. I thought it just kind of fit like the outdoor nature theme. And I know it's February right now, but I don't know. It's, it's fine with me. Speaking of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Speaking of rainbows, um, this weekend we are doing a crop in the Scrapbook Nerd Facebook group. It's a free crop. Um, and my, this this video is for my challenge and it is to use um, either rainbows in your project or just like colorful multicolor kind of project. Um, I am trying to incorporate that more into my life. It is so gloomy and sad feeling here where I live and I am just trying to incorporate. If you've watched some of my videos in this series that I'm doing, I have especially because this collection helps a lot with that, but I have been trying to incorporate a lot of bright colors, a lot of rainbows, a lot of sunshine into my crafting to kind of give me a little boost. So that is, that's the goal today. And I'm going to have the link down below for the Facebook group for Scrapbook Nerd. If you want to, um, if you want to go uh, check it out and enter in the challenges, there's lots of different challenges today and running all weekend long. And you have all week to submit your, your projects and you can win some really awesome prizes. So go join us there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of, kind of uh, matching these butterflies and birds with the different parts of the rainbow. And they're not perfect color matches by any means, but I'm um, just kind of doing kind of vague-ish color matches and I think it looks really cool. I think it makes the page unique. Um, yeah, I try to, when I do layouts, to really customize the background paper if I'm using a background paper to kind of make it my own and I think this looks pretty cool with the sewing and now these butterflies. I like it. So uh, this was a lot of fun to do and I'm using my bone folder thingy to, um, to scratch off the rub-ons on the page and I think it looks really, really cool. And I don't know about this brand of rub-ons in particular, but I know in the past with my experience with rub-ons, they're not really a product that lasts years and years. So they're not really something you're going to want to hoard. They're something you, a product you want to use. So I recommend, by the way, thumbs up because I used up the entire pack. And if you know me, I like to use things up. So that's exciting. Um, uh, yeah, so the, from my experience with rub-ons, they're there's something that doesn't last forever, so you're going to want to use them sooner rather than later. I mean, if you have them for like a couple months or I'm sure up to a year, it's fine. But um, like I said, I don't know about this brand, but my experience with any brands of rub-ons is that you want to use them. And that's what we want to do with our products anyway, is use them up. So this is a series that I'm doing with Scrapbook Nerd where I am starting with a kit of products and supplies, mostly new stuff, but incorporating some things from my stash. And I'm going to show you how, how you can use those things together. And um, I'm going to, I started this um, series with a video of my kit. And then at the end of the series, I'm going to kind of wrap it all up um, with sharing all of the projects I made and uh, what I have left and how much I was able to make out of the kit. And I think that's going to be really fun to see how far you can kind of, um, how far you can um, go with um, a small, uh, not a small, but like a medium, like a kit size set of supplies. So um, 
yeah, it's really fun. And I've made, so far, I've made shakers. I've made a tag flip. I made, uh, I can't remember, what was it in the last video? Oh, a mini album. That was fun. And now a scrapbook layout. So I'm trying to do a good variety of things too and not just do like a million different scrapbook layouts. I'm trying to show you how you can use these to make so many different kinds of projects. So anyway, that's my little introduction to my long introduction to this project, this series. Oh, I also used up those stars. I had taken that from my stash to put in the kit, these little stars. I had three left and I just thought I'd match the colors. And then also there was a pack of enamel dots that had matching colors that I used as well. So I used up three different products in this video, which feels so good. So you'll definitely be seeing that in the end of this series. Um, which I don't know when it'll end. I'm not kind of putting a time to it because um, I want I want to like stretch it as far as I can. I don't want to say like a certain date. So um, so you'll see when it comes when my when my kit starts dwindling down. You'll see it, it'll come time to kind of switch things up a bit. Um, I have two ephemera packs that I'm using, the floral pack and the regular ephemera pack. So um, there's still lots of supplies in there for me to use. So I'm sure this will get me a good chunk of pro projects done. I'm not going to use it till I have nothing left, but I'm going to use it till I feel like I... What I normally do is I keep my collection together and then once I've used up like 60% of the collection or 70% of the collection, then I put it into my stash with combined with other collections that it would match with. So I'll find another collection that looks like this with bright colors, rainbow, sunshine, that kind of thing. I'll find a collection in my stash and add it to that to make it a more full stash and use them together when I'm crafting. That'll be like once I'm done the series and once I'm done... Um, feel like complete enough with what I've used. So hope that makes sense. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with all of these products. And look how cool this page looks with the rub-ons. I think that looks so fun and like unique. It doesn't like it. It feels like it doesn't look like everyone else's pages with this collection. So um, I'm happy with that. I just watered down some white acrylic paint to do some white paint splatters. I think those look really nice against the rainbow colors. And that is my scrapbook layout. So I'm going to link scrapbook nerd down below. Go join us in the crop this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.